Ah, I remember him. I've drawn this elephant. He seems to be in light must. I can smell him. His legs aren't very wet in the back, so there's not a lot of penal dribbling, but certainly maybe in uh, some stage of must. I actually named this elephant some time ago from a sketch I made of him. He was at the water hole for a while. And I called him Ovo. And I'll try and show you just now why. If we look very carefully as the ears open, he's got a little hole there. He's got a V there. And at certain times, you'll see there's another little hole above that V. You can see there. So it's a, a hole or a O, a V and a hole or a O. So Ovo. He's a big elephant. Try and get a ID shot of him. Of course, the best way to ID elephants is not always that uh, it's as easy as we had it with Wonky to recognize an elephant. You look at various features. So maybe going to come and have a look at us. Seems to be a little bit curious, but again, just from his body language, you can see that he's not bothered by us. And like I said, I saw him last night as well. So you look at the ears, you look at specific little holes or markings, cuts, V notches, anything like that. That's your first sort of point to, to get IDs from. And then you start looking at tusks as well. You see in this guy's case, he's, he's left tusk. All right hand side of that one is slightly more curved, slightly more pointy. His right tusk. That one had a break recently, so it's slightly flat on top. And also the slightly difference in thickness like that. Look at how he's resting his back leg. All of it showing that he's nice and relaxed with us, not too worried. Oh, I like this elephant. I think all of us at the moment enjoy seeing new new animals, even though this one has been around and we'll obviously hopefully see him more often. He's a big Ellie though. Tusk wise, body wise, skull size. He's uh he's gonna be impressive, give him five or ten years. Again I would age age wise I wouldn't put him much over mid thirties. Just looking at the combination of skull relative to the body size, bulk and tusk size. Basically, when elephants hit their mid-30s, they, uh, they slow down dramatically in terms of body growth or skeletal growth. They start putting on a lot of body mass. The skull itself, the head starts growing faster and the teeth also start growing faster, or the, the tusks. So he would be increasing in size and impressiveness dramatically over the next 10 years. Amazing eyes. It's 
one of the things of elephant where you can really sense that intelligence, that awareness by looking into the eyes. A lot of fresh food any direction and he's systematically slowly coming our way obviously feeding his most or biggest purpose he's a big Ellie I'd put him in the six ton re region or thereabouts so he's eating let's say on average about 300 kilograms a day that's 650 odd pounds so that keeps you busy at this time of year with this amount of lush grass and food around it's not a problem just look at his face quickly as I mentioned he is in, he is actually in, in a, not in full-blown must, but uh, you can certainly smell him. He's got those heavy temporal secretions. You can see that wet area there between the ear and the eye. As well as a uh, little bit of penile dribbling. I noticed a bit just now, but, but like I said, not full-blown. It's certainly enough that you can smell him. But he's a big elephant. He really is. Look at that. Beautiful tree as well. Just look at that, that shape. Yeah, this is easily one of my favorite things to do, just um, sit with elephants like this. Especially when they, when they have this kind of feeling about them, so just the radio there. And a lot of people, a lot of them alone, and be careful. But it's again how you introduce yourself and, and, and getting a sense of what that animal is about. It's amazing to sit with him like this. You know, every time it happens, it still leaves me in awe. A few pictures. particularly enjoying those creepers. You can see that's what he's finding at the moment. Some kind of a... It smells quite strong. <laughs> almost like a sort of a, call it like a kind of a pumpkin almost. from the hippos there. 